Hello and welcome to my replay of Drive Club Multiplayer. This is a replay from Black Hills Raceway, a fictional track in Scotland. I'm driving a Spiker. For those not familiar with Spiker, they're a Dutch car manufacturer. I don't know if it's Spiker or Spike, Spiker or Speaker. I, I do apologise if I am not pronouncing it correctly. These were from sessions last night. I do have other videos from the sessions I did record. This one is, um, I would say, is the best of my races. So, anyway, <laughs> trying to find the right things to talk about for seven minutes. Anyway, um, those ghostly cars are people that are laggy. Um, at the moment. Drive Club servers are commonly referred to as useless. They're not in the best of states. Quite, quite frankly, they're, they're in a terrible state. Um, I'm doing that, that's an average speed challenge. There are three challenges on drive club. That one there back there is an average drive club, that's average, average, average speed. So you have to certain over a certain time, you can see the bottom there, you have to keep a you know, certain speed and you win the challenge, you get 500 points. Um, there's there loads of green, uh, blue is uh, trying to take a, tur a corner at a perfect time, perfect line. There's little blue lines on the ground, you have to weave through them, you have to follow the line perfectly to win and the last one is an orange challenge which is a drift challenge but of course you just naturally have to drift around the corner now the spiker is a very touchy car Having not driven one in real life, I can't actually tell you what they're really actually really like. Um, I heard that they're not exactly, they're, they're, they are quite nice cars. Another speed challenge coming up. track there, so they, they penalise you, penalise you for hitting any other cars, they penalise you for driving off the track, also cutting corners, the, the corner cutting, it's temperamental at best, it tells you where, you like, you think you've got the perfect line around the corner and then suddenly it tells you, no, you haven't. Now, in theory there, I should have should have gone into a massive 360 around the corner, but somehow I managed to hold it. It's a nice and car there, some lovely little dolls. Unfortunately, it's not a challenge for that. <laughs> Off track again. I came up quite a lot last night. Um, I'd say I enjoyed it. Um, 
lovely drift up here. I'm going to try and take this guy on the right hand side. And uh, he decided, nope, I wasn't. Took me out. No real reason for that at all. It's like, he was in a much faster car than I was driving. He, he was driving, I think it was the um, uh, Continental GT. I think it's Continental GT. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but he was in a much faster car than I was. And he had no reason to actually do that. Ruined my race completely, there's a corner pen I. Let me ruin my race. Obviously, I went from 7th down to... Down to 9th. You know, you can see. I was completely angry at this point. Just like, I started driving like a complete fool. A laggy idiot in front of me. went back up to 7th. Anyway, thank you for watching as this video comes to a close. Check in the last corner. The person who took me out happily finished in his 5th place. 4. Anyway, thank you. I hope you enjoyed the video. More to come. Probably not much from the drive club. Thank you for watching. Bye.